You're watching ABC4 News. And welcome back. Utah is at the center of a national push to protect international adoptees. Local advocates are pushing Congress to pass the Adoptee Citizenship Act by the end of the year. Now, the bill would ensure that children adopted by American couples become U.S. citizens. That's currently not the case, and it can lead to years of struggles for these people to stay in the only country they've ever called home. So joining us now to talk all about it, this important issue, Sarah Jones. She's a volunteer for Adoptees for Justice. And we're also joined by Stacy Robinson, an international adoptee who grew up in Utah only to discover that she was not a citizen. Very interested to hear your story. Thank you both for joining us here today. Thanks, Emily, for having us. This is such a critical time for this legislation. Um, you know, over 100, 500,000 children have been adopted to the U.S. from different countries, right? All of them believing that America is their home. Right. And come to find out that about 25,000 to 49,000 of them actually were never U.S. citizen because of the way our laws are written. And almost, well, over 50 of them have been deported back to their countries where they were originally adopted from. Can you believe that? And so no ties to country, no language, right? Not to mention the financial hardships that they experienced going back to this country that they never knew. Okay, I think we need to give a little bit of a background. You have yeah. been on our ABC4 before at our Inside Utah yes. Politics, explained the issue, but for those that may not have tuned in and don't know exactly what this issue is, can you give us a little bit of background, please? Thank you, Emily. Yeah, you're right, I was on a year ago because we, uh, the Utah uh, international adoptees were working with the state legislature to pass a resolution to support changing the laws for international citizenship. Now, we know that uh, citizenship is a federal law, right? But the state of Utah wanted to express its support that this should change. Utah is family friendly. We're child focused, right? And so a lot of families in Utah used adoption to form their families. Right. And so when you have a situation like, for example, Stacy's family, where they had this wonderful family, but because of misinformation, they some of the siblings siblings in the same family didn't have U.S. citizenship, right? And that there's just something fundamentally wrong about that, especially if we believe that adoption forms families. So where does legislation currently fall short? What needs to happen? So right now there's just a little technical oversight. It's really bizarre. Um, it just leaves out older adoptees. It's just an arbitrary date that was put in about 20 years ago that allowed younger international adoptees to have an automatic pathway to citizenship but not the older ones. So the older ones like Stacy and I, right? That's our age group. Right. And so they're finding out later in life that they never had U.S. citizenship. And I just thought it was so important for you to hear like someone who's actually gone through this experience in Utah. And that's where we want. Stacy. Yeah. if you don't mind sharing your story again, just to help all of those at home who may not have been aware of this, when you found out and, and how this has impacted you. It was a terrifying piece of information. I grew up in Utah County. It's with six children, we were all adopted, four of us internationally, two domestically. As an adult, I applied for my passport and was informed I wasn't a citizen. I was shocked, my parents were shocked. They had been informed by the adoption agency that my citizenship requirements had been met as part of the adoption process and that was not the case. Uh, it was terrifying for my, a terrifying position for my parents to be in as well because at one point, four of their children were not U.S. citizens. So, Can I ask how old you were at that point, too, when you found this out? I was in my late 20s. Late it's 20s. taken a very long time and a lot of effort to finally obtain citizenship. But even going through that process was terrifying because there were no guarantees. Mm -hmm. Um, I also learned how difficult life can be as an adult without citizenship, renewing my driver's license, applying for certain jobs, wow. applying for certain loans, all were challenges or just not available to me. And you had no idea? No idea. Okay. Not a great surprise. No, not a great surprise <laughs> at all. Tell us then, we have just about a minute left. Where are we at in the process of this legislation and then also how can people get involved? Yeah, so we are at a critical juncture. The congressional session is about to end. So the end of year spending bill could pass any day now. So it's really important that especially Utahns reach out to Senator Romney because we know that Senator Romney's vote is gonna be pivotal in the end of year spending bill. And also reach out to Senator Lee, of course. Um, and we just wanna rem remind everyone that Utah cares about 
families, adoption, right? We should, all of these children had a right to legal citizenship, right? And this is a simple technical fix that we've been trying to fix for, all, for almost eight years now, wow. right? And we just needed to pass the finish line. It passed in the House for the first time this year. And I, I think we need to recognize that Congressman John Curtis, our Utah representative, was the lead co-sponsor in the House, right? Out there, really supporting Utah values. Congressman Owens also supported. He was very instrumental in helping Stacey with her citizenship. And so we need our other Utah congressional leaders to step up, support, and to fix this so that it makes it equal for children who've been adopted. Thank you so much, both of you. Again, we have Stacey Robinson, Robinson and Sarah Jones. We appreciate your time here today and the call to action for those who can get involved. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Emily. Thank, Thank you. you.